Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. I'm back with another episode of Cyber CEO. Today, we are very lucky to have a special guest. Tiffany, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you. All right. Um, of course, uh, by the way, for the benefit of everyone who's listening and watching us, can you tell us something about yourself, Tiffany? Well, I am a real estate agent in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. We're far east on an island. I've had a Cyberbacker since September of last year. Wow, going on your first year, already done with your first year. Now, how has the experience been so far? Is this your first time working with someone remotely? Yeah, it's my first VA and the experience has been amazing. I mean, I he's he's very much a part of our team and yeah, he's, he's in fact a big part of my life. <laughs> All right, a big part of your life. Can you tell me something about your cyber backer, about personality wise, your day together, what it looks like, things like that? So I met John again back, well, it, it may be a little over a year ago before he got onboarded. You know, we meet five days a week in the mornings. Uh, we have a team meeting myself, my business coordinator, and John, who is my virtual transaction coordinator. You know, his personality is amazing. It's it's very much in line with my team's vibe and how we like to operate and communicate. So I'm, I'm very thankful to Cyberbacker for doing that and, and lining us up with the right, right person. So yeah, he's, he's awesome. I love him. As what you mentioned, I think personality is really something is, let's say, a key factor in this type of a relationship. Of course, we're already a thousand of miles away and then the personality really has to match. Don't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it really does. It really yes. does. That's awesome to hear. Now, um, a lot of business owners are listening to us right now, and they're still, let's say, not buying into the idea of virtual leverage. So let me ask you, Tiffany, what makes this type of a relationship work? What makes it a successful partnership? Again, my cyber record, John, is uh, very dialed into the lifeline of our business. So we we take you know our day to day activities very seriously, and we're we're very much strategic in how we plan out our days, weeks, months, and year. And so John is a big part of that. And I guess the the, the relationship is is definitely essential to to the business. Of course, again, the relationship. Now, my next question is how much additional revenue has your cyber backer made you or how much time have they saved you? Has he saved you? I'm sorry. I would say um, my market center, KW, is um, implementing a transaction coordinator where you pay per deal. And it's somewhere around the, I think it's around the two to $300 mark per deal. So if we're looking at seven to 10 deals a month, if you if you work out the math on that, I would say at the end of the year, we're looking at 12 to 15, $16,000 a year that I'm saving by using a cyber backer for my transaction coordinating. And as for time, it's immeasurable. I, I can't, time is so valuable to me. It's, it's a big part of where I'm going with my business in terms of leverage and uh, freeing up more time where I can be more of a mentor to my team and be a big part of, of my family's day to day as well. So I have two small kids and it's important to me that I'm, I'm available for them. It took a long time to get here, but since finding Cyberbacker, it's been so helpful in, in that I've got more time with them. It's really great hearing these type of stories, especially when people say, or our cyber CEOs say that they've gotten their time back, especially time for their family. Now, um, you've already talked about John helping you with your transaction coordination, but what else does he do for your business? Again, because a lot of business owners don't really know how to take advantage of what a cyber backer can do. So I think in some ways, bless his heart, I, I had underestimated his ability to really help my team grow. And I, I can leverage John and use his skills in say, you know, graphics and providing graphics for social media. And well, his organization is key for his role, but but beyond that, he's been super helpful in growing our team. And, you know, it, being available has been 
amazing. The reliability, he's there every morning on time, like without a doubt, like never any issues. Yeah. I, I think, I think again, he's just a big part of our team. Of course. Now, what are some of the things that you're considering having him do in the future? Because even though he has a lot of things to do right now, his role could still grow in the next few months or the years to come. So what are these things that you're planning on having him do in the future? So John has been uh, with me now as a part-time cyber backer and already has like far exceeded my expectations. And I really don't know where I would be at this point without him. He was a, he was an essential piece in my growth in the, in building the team. I would say going forward, we're going to be looking at more full-time. And it, we recently did a business retreat this past weekend planning for 2022. And it was important for me to understand what, what his goals were personally so that, you know, I'm aware of how I can help him grow. And he's completely dialed in with how I want to grow personally and how I want the business to grow and my business coordinator and what her goals are and what her ideas in the, in the growth of the business. So I would say full-time would be our next step for, for John as currently a part-time cyber backer. Well, it's going to be exciting for him. I know that he'd be very excited as well. Of course, that's growth for him, more things for him to do. And that would be growth for you and your business as well. Now, um, no relationship is perfect, right? There might be bumps, there might be hurdle, hurdles, problems. What have been some of the challenges or let's say um, let's opportunities for growth that you've had working with Cyberbacker? I I can't say that I have any. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, John has really exceeded and met all of his in, in terms of the the onboarding. I mean, that process kind of went as expected. There were some uh, you know, a couple weeks of like learning the ropes on, on how I wanted things done and organized and how we were going to run efficiently as a team. And he's just so open to modifying that if we want to improve it or whatever. And he's, if I were to ask John, you know, what do you think about this process? Like, how do you think we can make this better? He's got no issue putting that forward. So I don't, I don't think there's really anything that that we struggle with that not not even from the beginning everything has been super smooth and yeah really no issues <laughs> just smooth and perfect and that's good to hear yeah. now what advice would you be able to give the business owners that are listening to us right now when they're hiring their own cyber backer i would say really trust the process in terms of the hiring a, a lot of the I, i've learned a lot of the the different techniques that that you guys implement when you're when you're trying to pair up uh, an individual with a cyber backer that would best suit their business and their personality and using a KPA that those types of tools are so helpful. And I, I would say, trust the process. The first group of cyber backers that I interviewed, I initially didn't feel a good click with anyone. And although there were some great candidates, I really enjoyed getting to know them through the interview process. I didn't feel 100% on, on either one of the candidates. So my advice would be if, if you don't click right away, it's okay to ask for another pool of cyber backers to interview and see, see what best suits um, your working personality and your business and, and what your, your goals are. Of course, again, the fit is very important. You're going to be partnered with this person for a while. So you might want to, of course, make sure that the personality really matches. Now, I know that John is listening to us right now as well. Would you want to give him a quick shout out on the show or a few oh. words you'd like to share? Hey, John. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the morning <laughs> for right. our team meeting. But you've been instrumental in, in my business's growth. And, and I really can't think of... Uh, having anyone else that you've been awesome and and i really really adore you we are very excited to see where your partnership with john and cyberbacker would be in the next years to come tiffany thank you very much for your time today you're welcome thank you for having me thank you for listening to our daily dose of cyber ceo stay tuned to know more about how cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age you can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.